week. Yeah. Anyway, no, you can't, I tried to the, the past 24 hours has been I awful. I used to drink it when I smoked. But you can't Dang. shower, can't, can't do nothing with the water situation. Yeah. It makes it rough. <laughs> Those are yummy, though. Did you work the last day? No. Why not? Because the, where the state of the merchants is in, they had to shut down the schools because of it. And what do you think are going to be the effects of that? Loss of wages. For you? Real bad, yes. For me. <laughs> is that going to impact how you live your life the rest of the month or next month? Well, yeah, you can't. I can't. It would be hard to pay my bills and get food on the table and all that because of it. And do you know of other people in a similar situation to your own? Well, my neighbor, he works for the school board also. I don't know if, if it's impacting him. It may be impacting him. He, he works for a different department than what I do. And are you expecting to get any kind of relief or assistance to help with this loss of wages? No. Here, put these on, no. Five and another They're interview. not expecting to give us any. And that's cool. just your employer, right? Yes. Have you heard anything about the state or federal We're government doing no. anything? No. So, what is your perspective on this right now with that in mind? From my perspective, I'm hoping that they will resolve it in a timely manner. Because we get upset because they didn't tell us until later that day how long it's been it's just affecting the community community businesses and all that it's hurting them all. did you consume or use any of the water after it had been contaminated we consumed it and after we did it and that's when it came across the news not to use it and how did that make you feel when you heard that it, I just got a my heart just dropped. I was thinking we were dry, drinking the contaminated water. Have you ever had a situation like that happen in your life before? No. No. <laughs> and is this something that you know you relate to as something affiliated with living in this area, or is this an exception to that? I have no problem living in the area. I mean, this is actually the first time it's actually been like this. I mean, it's a good area to live in. But this is the first time anything major like this has actually happened, that they had to shut down everything because of it. Now, what about the more minor incidents where they've had to have shelters in place and things like that? Have you experienced that before? No. That's usually been out of my area. But you know about those kind of situations yes. at chemical plants like yeah, John Ammon? Save them at a timely matter. But like this water situation, it's been, it took too long to get the consumers the information. So, who do you feel is liable in this situation? The chemical plant. Well, the water company had nothing to do with it, they didn't put it in the water system. It's, uh, the owner of the chemical plant should have better uh, how I put this things in place in the poor stuff major stuff that happens like this. and what do you hope will happen as a result like stricter regulations or anything like that yes yeah, so I'm hoping there are stricter regulations on their safety blocks their, and all that Mm -hmm. Make sure all that's in place so this won't happen again. Now, would you want to see this place fined or even shut down? I would like to see them, well, of course, fine. I mean, yeah, because it's a major issue. But if, we, hey, if they don't get the problem fixed, we can shut them down. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about not just the impact on individuals like you, but local businesses will be? Well, the impact right now, I mean, they're losing a lot of money. I mean, that can shut down a small business. Just two days will not have any income coming in. Have you seen or talked to any small businesses around your area that are shut down and affected by this? No, not. I haven't.
Are there well, any? I don't see a lot of Mallards. Yeah. So are there places that you would be going to that you can't? Yesterday I took the yeah, ice like, home with me. Yeah, like McDonald's, pizza places and stuff like that. We normally go to camp because we're close. Get ready to sit down and relax. Um, what do you think about the national media coverage of this event? Are you satisfied with it? They're keeping us up to date on it. I mean, they're on top. Of it. I mean, that's one thing I like about it. on Channel Eight and all them. They're they're on top of it. What about like larger uh, things like ABC and CBS or the New York Times or any of the, the big news? Them, I'm not so sure about because I don't really pay attention to that part. But like WCHS and all that, they're they're on top. Of it. Um, is there anything that you think people who are not from this area or are not experiencing this need to know about this? Yes, if they're coming into this area, they want to need to know you know, the situation. Because they can't, can't use not the water or anything here, so yeah, they have to, they should be told. How long have you lived in the area? I've lived in this area for you know, all my life. Mm -hmm. Well, out your face. And how do you feel about, you know, being a West Virginian and going through this? I mean, I love living in West Virginia, but going through what we're going through right now is it's a horrible thing to go through. I mean, people rely on this water and we can't use it. <laughs> but are you still proud to be West Virginian? Or you... Oh yeah, I'm proud to live here. I mean, I love West Virginia. 